So students of plus seven in the same lesson, antiquated here in the previous presentation, we discussed about those type writing machines. Many things we are told about that. Some disadvantages that it had, it was too much noisy and it needed special training to master the art. So here you are going to read the reaction of another member here. Yes, I agree. This member says like this, the advancement in modern technology has put many a useful and efficient machine to rest. So her reaction is that she agrees uh, that modern technology had has put many useful and efficient machines to rest. They have been made of solid. I think the only similarity between the old typewriter and the keyboards we use today is the layout of the keys. Now, this member has found out a similarity between the old typewriter and the new, new and the keyboards we use today is that the layout of the keys, the Q, W, E, R, T, Y layout. So this is what you find in the keyboard and the uh, top line, just uh, above that middle line where you find A, S, D, F, G. With your left, from your left to right, you find those letters and just above it, you find this Q, W, E, R, T, Y layout. <clears throat> developed by Christopher Souls, who developed it, Christopher Souls and Carlos Leiden in 1894, is till today considered the best way to lay out the alphabet to enable efficient typing in the English language. So, it is found to be the efficient typing in the English language, that's why it is kept in the modern keyboard also. And learning to type correctly and efficiently as you did in the past is a still of great benefit. And uh, one benefit is spoken of here, and that is learning to type correctly and efficiently as people did in the past is a still of great benefit. Many people get by typing with one finger, but there is nothing to beat a good typist, even on the most modern PC. Now many people get by typing with one finger also, by uh, looking at the letters there, but no one can beat a good typist even in the modern PC. So this much we find in this reaction of this member, and that must is here in this slide. Let us move on to the next. So here it is, another member going to talk about something else. Anybody remember the old duplicators? No, this member is talking about these duplicators. Typing out a page was one thing, making a copy, copy of it was a whole other matter. Before the invention of the photocopying process and before the Xerox Corporation, came to our aid, making copies of documents who was a laborious task. Now, this member is talking about something which took place before that photocopying process and before that Xerox Corporation came out to our aid. What happened in those days? This member is going to talk about that. We had to use something called a stencil duplicator. Now, the, the people used a stencil duplicator or a cyclo styling machine. This machine was called this stencil duplicator or a cyclo styling machine. We had one of those in my school. So, our question papers were copied on that. Our clerks had to spend quite a bit of time to make individual copies of documents. 
now it was time consuming it took too much time to get the copies uh, of documents the cyclo style duplicating process was invented by david uh, just a, just at now in london in 1890 so david just that now of london was the inventor of this cyclo style duplicating process a stencil was stuck on a, this is the process of using that machine a stencil was cut on a normal typewriter by using special stencil paper the stencil was then inserted into the cyclo style machine which used ink to produce a limited number of copies now huge number of copies could not be produced so the machine was a cumber sum device and we had to roll out the paper manually thank goodness for the invention of photocopying now it was a laborious task it took too much time and uh, it was a very uh, troublesome device and they had to roll out the paper manually and uh, this member is thanking the invention of the photocopy so this much is there in this presentation we'll come up with new things in the next till that time bye students thank you